this is Strange Love After Hours. I'm your host, Cami Chaos. Welcome, babies. Good evening and welcome to Strange Love Live After Hours. I'm Cami Chaos, and as always, I'm joined by Dr. Normal. Hello. Thank you for turning on my microphone. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Now let's see if the guests have a microphone. We're joined by Selena Deckelman and Audrey Ashray. Hello. Hello. And we're just going to go right into the important thing <laughs> is that I made mojitos for the first time ever. And I haven't tasted this yet. And I've been known not to like mojitos. But if I made it, I have to like it, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's, an, it's a, an altered version of Betsy Wim's recipe. But delicious. Yes. Ooh, I do like things that I make. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Perfect. It's my fancy pants mojito. If you turn the drink music on, I'll tell you what's in it. Okay, yeah, I'm on that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, Here this is the very drink good. Music <laughs> yeah, I think the person, yeah, sorry, I can't tell the secret this, ingredients. This is oh. delicious. Ooh. This is the slightly modified Betsy Wim mojito. Featuring Tarosi mint. <laughs> Over there. Um, and agave syrup instead of mint simple syrup. So it's one cup of uh, mint, one cup of agave syrup, a little over a cup of fresh squeezed lime juice, one and three quarters cup of dark rum, and a few splashes of bitters with ice. That we blended. Oh, and we, we muddled and then we blended. Yeah. And now we're drinking it. Yes. It's Which is a really important step. It's the most important <laughs> step, forget in my that opinion. Last step, people. Mm -hmm. yeah. And um, the mint is kind of almost salady because, I, well, I I blended it a little. It is a salad. It's delicious, though. <laughs> I think the tarosi mint and the agave syrup really make it. Yeah, they're pretty good. Mm -hmm. The studio audience is also drinking the mojito. Dr. Normal had a little bit of the mojito, but I don't think he liked it because now he's no, drinking champagne right. or kava or something. More is for that us. My cue? Yeah. I need to make a lower third for myself. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Keep talking. Um, that I was don't know what to jargon. say to that. Yeah, that was kind of just. <laughs> <laughs> so back to the mojito. <laughs> back to the mojito. It's the first time I ever made it. How did I, I do? Good. I yeah, I very Definitely. much enjoyed it. Yeah, it's it's refreshing. Thank you. Yeah. Selena had to supervise. I wasn't I wasn't um, feeling confident in my mojito making abilities. I, in my mojito mojo, if you will. No, I you know, the last couple of days I've actually been talking about mojitos with some friends of mine, so I was really mm -hmm. excited right. when you said that you wanted to make some. Yeah, well, well no, I saw it's your mojito idea. weather. It is. And I was thinking, yeah. I was like, God, you know, I always like it when the guests like say what they want to drink because then I don't have to figure it out. Yes, finally. No, I was just like, awesome. <laughs> I will make mojitos tonight. I think Selena and I both had mojitos yesterday. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't have mojitos. Oh, but I you just saw wanted people. them. Okay. Yeah, I wanted yeah. them. How did this stack up against the mojito you had yesterday? It's, uh, they're both good. Good. Good, yeah. good, good. I'm not killing anybody with my mojito. Yeah. <laughs> Betsy, thank you so much for the recipe. I think I'm going to be making a lot of these. Viva mojito. Yeah, and Betsy, just so you know, you were number one in my Google search. So. Number yeah. one, baby. What was that? What's the hashtag? Betsy Wim is awesome. Betsy Wim is awesome. Okay. Oh, wait. You want me to drink it? Betsy Wim is awesome. <laughs> Betsy Wim is awesome. <laughs> Yeah. Is that the Arc that's Octothorpe it. sign? This is the, this is the hashtag. <laughs> Seriously. Is that yes. Betsy Wim is awesome. That's right, yeah. <laughs> What's that with the pound sign? Rosie, next you call yourself a... Next you're going to work with that orthogonal or orthogonal. Ooh, orthogonal. I use that in an I email today. I did. Right. I really did. <laughs> Our lovely studio audience, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Participating. Somebody grab the microphone and introduce themselves. Oh, oh yeah. I, I was going to drink it first. Oh, I'm sorry. Dr. Norm was going to drink first. I got my lower third. So. Okay. <laughs> so okay. Find you found third. it. You found yeah. it. You located it. Good. Okay, Dr. Norm. Yes. Drink something. Are you drinking the mojito? Mm -hmm. Make a nice face. Mm. It's like a garden <laughs> in a glass. <laughs> <laughs> or the Chirosi hedge clipping. <laughs> After hours, ladies and gentlemen. After hours. It's, very, mm. it's very nice. Hedge clipping. Oh, it's good. Mm -hmm. It's very 
tasty. This is really. The chat room wants to know if Tarosi mint requires a card from your doctor. Ooh. <laughs> I should ask my dentist. My dentist seems yeah. very liberal <laughs> with the. Uh, <laughs> yeah, for anyone who missed that, my dentist uh, believes that nitrous is a valuable, valuable dental tool. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. You have a good dentist. <laughs> I do. I have an excellent dentist. An excellent dentist. You're still calling it the Helmut can? <laughs> yes. The what? <laughs> That's not the Helmut can. And we're not getting out the Helmut can. We're working on it. <laughs> it's in its second. It's in private, private beta. <laughs> all right. Let's introduce the studio audience. Yes. It's in okay. private damn we have to beta. Wait for you, you have to wait for the microphone. Oh, okay. okay. Microphone. No, microphone. He's behind on the microphone tonight. Hello. <laughs> I'm Peter, and I'm enjoying mojitos here at Strange Love Live. Fantastic. I'm Kelly, and I'm also sitting here once again in the studio audience for Strange Love Live after running around on Cammy's behalf, I might add. Hardest working... What What, what was her title? Did you say a line producer? What was the line producer? Oh, line oh. producer. Oh, I have a title now? Yeah, you're the yeah. line oh, producer. Oh, that's right. Hardest working line producer in Portland. Awesome. Very yes. nice. All right, moving on. Something producer. <laughs> People pusher. And uh, this is Rick Tarosi, supplier of <laughs> mint. Mint. <laughs> dealer of mint. Dealer. Of mint dealer. Fine <laughs> mint. I'll be here yeah, five minutes. Yeah, dealer of fine mint. Comes in dime bags. <laughs> <laughs> it did, actually. Yeah. 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 It was in a baggie. It was in a baggie. bag. There was a baggie. It was a baggie. It was nice. Yeah. 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 Zipped for freshness. <laughs> There's a lot of air trapped in that bag, too, just FYI. Yeah, there was. There was. Yeah. yeah. Um, you got anyway. a little bit of mint on here. There you go. <laughs> That's the danger of this drink. Yeah. Mm. That's why I'm sticking we'll to the straw. We'll all have green tea. Mm. But we'll, we'll be right. in it together. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> so I'm just going to look at it. It's like a chopstick. I've got this giant piece of mint. Are you going to eat it? Really? I want to. That's daring. I think that's Maybe why. Maybe we should have Rick eat it first. <laughs> <laughs> but then no. I can't eat it after he's eaten it. it no, no, be there's more. There's, there's more mint where that came from. Yeah. I just want one that's been so <laughs> good in rums. I love chopsticks. Oh, wow. You're going to eat it. Like, oh, interesting. I always interesting. like it when things start out with, you're going to eat now it. I'm going <laughs> to <swallow. laughs> oh. oh. no, How was it? Uh, yeah, not good. Yeah. yeah. Mm. It's a little strong. Just don't cry. There's no crying in mojitos. <laughs> There's no crying in after there hours. There will be if I have three. <laughs> as long as we keep me at two. Oh, two. There That's your be steady no state. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. If there's a third mojito, there will be. Fun. Don't yeah. eat the mint. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, don't eat yeah. the mint. No matter See, how I've been appetizing about that. it looks. Yeah, so I'm trying to come up with a drink that'll go with my lemon balm because I mm-hmm. kind of have a Tarosi mint situation, but mm-hmm. I have lemon balm. Uh-huh. Yeah. Is yours glaucoma too? <laughs> I saw that episode on. Uh, I actually, my eyes are just Dr. fine. Do you even FYI. have a microphone on? I do. Um, really? Lemon balm. I had I, yeah, I really lemon balm. Will. Okay. So I'm thinking with gin. That. That could I be good. Yeah. 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 Some kind of a gin. Yeah, lemon balm and gin, and then something. Mm-hmm. So, you know, hmm. maybe the internet can help you know us with this problem. Cran I don't know. cherry juice. Ooh. You know, I have or that. cranberry. Sa- you know, the other thing that I have, I have um, sour cherry liqueur, mm. which is really oh, yeah. good mm. it's yeah. for making the aviations. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. So. Oh. You have to come back on the show so that you can come and make me an aviation. aviations. Yeah, I should just come for after hours. Yeah, and bring alcohol. <laughs> I would like that. Yeah, that would make me That's... very happy. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, cool. And yeah, no, some. I can do that. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I'm glad that the drink song is so long. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, Doctor Normal won't let us drink during the tech episode anymore, and I had to break it to them. And last time Audrey was here, I think we definitely drank during the tech yes, episode. Yes. So. Although all... I've been to the tiki bar beforehand, I'm not sure how much drinking I was still doing by the time I got here. Did you go to Thatch? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Did you have a scorpion bowl? No, I don't remember what I had. Oh, you should have the Wasn't... scorpion bowl. Yeah. I like it. I like it a lot. Mm. I also like the poo poo platter. <laughs> Those are good. I also like anything that comes in a tiki cup. So, to be fair. <laughs> If you put it in a tiki cup, I'll tiki probably like it. All right. Well, I'll remember that when I'm making my lemon balm plus gin. Mm-hmm. <laughs> or, you know, you could put it in a, let's just face it. I just liked, I like some booze on a Friday night. 
Okay. Yeah, yeah, I do too. Or I was ready. I was ready for some booze. She said booze. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I have boobs all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Those don't ever go away. We've got, actually, we've got a peanut gallery this evening. Mm-hmm. Let's just say the boob factor is high tonight, and that's always awesome. That is true. No, it's it's, true. It's, there are lots it's of even. Even. No, on the show. Oh yes, on the show. That's true. Higher than oh no, it is. We're not even because there's seven of us and there's four women. Exactly. So we actually rule. Yeah, we do. We Great. outnumber the men. We do. There. <laughs> <laughs> Who gave me my own show again? <laughs> Ooh, I don't know. With the mojito though. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Betsy. Um, I wanted to get to that early because I know that often Betsy will watch a few minutes of the after hours and then she'll go to bed. I wanted to make sure that she knew that we took inspiration from her mojito. And then actually from the one of the second to last comment, uh, the person made a picture of the mojitos and shared her uh, por- proportions. And that's actually where this came from. Yeah, I think anytime someone serves alcohol in a pitcher, I was just going to say, I'm yeah, kind I like of pro this pitcher of drinks yeah. concept. Yeah, yeah, I really think in general that should be something that people do more often. Well, mm-hmm. I found if I didn't make a pitcher of drinks for after hours, that I only got to have one drink. Oh yeah, that's unacceptable. And then I yeah. can't have a drink during the tech episode, so a pitcher was really necessary. Yeah, yeah, it was good planning on your part. Thank you. I need to get a prettier picture. My picture it, it leaves something to be desired, visually speaking, but it holds quite about. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. No, I have I have like a couple glass pitchers mm-hmm. that I have. Like I was telling you before, the uh, the spiked lemonade yeah. that we have for our yard sales. Yeah, yeah. I have some special. I have a beautiful for that. martini pitcher, oh. but it's only good for holding martinis. Really, right? Nothing with uh, you know other ingredients in it. Hmm. Doctor Normal, make note. I need a pretty pitcher that holds a lot. <laughs> <laughs> You need a pretty picture? No. Okay. We can start at the restaurant. I thought you were a pretty picture. <laughs> yeah, pretty as a picture. Oh, you're so sweet. Ba-bum-bum. Stop kissing my ass and get me a new picture. <laughs> I thought you were going to fire me earlier. <clears throat> <laughs> well, let's see. That you was until she needed a picture. You didn't turn my microphone on. <laughs> and then you didn't turn Selena and Audrey's microphone on. And then did you turn your microphone on? I can't remember. I don't know. I don't think you turned yes. your microphone on. It <laughs> <laughs> has worked. Oh, his uh, work, okay. of course, is dead. was busy with stuff. Mm. So what else were okay. we talking about? I have to say, I-, I will be done with the mojito talk in just a moment. I, <laughs> I take back all the bad things I've said about mojitos. Over the years. Over the years. Okay. But I think that I could add a little bit more lime and Prosecco mm-hmm. and a little bit less agave syrup because it's very sweet. Mm-hmm. I have to work on perfecting my... Alteration. Okay, let's talk about something that's not mojitos. You're getting altered? Right. Yes. Can we talk about that last week? <laughs> to, yeah, to a great extent. Oh, I, I was actually thinking of an alteration that you should have done. <laughs> oh. oh, it's like that. Oof. Ouch. It's how we roll. Yeah. I understand. Oh, I actually boy. really like him. The show's What's turned into like? twit. You'd never know. <laughs> <laughs> You never know watching oh, the show. But. Oh, oh man. Wait. Okay, who has issue one? Issue one. Oh. Issue one. Issue one. OS Bridgebot. Oh, okay. I made OS oh, Bridgebot yeah. blush. OS Bridgebot. Its metal metal face was all blushy. <laughs> what does that look like when metal blushes? Does it start melting? Mm. Sort of warm. Kind of looks like when you. Uh, go into an hour uh, show with no content. <laughs> <laughs> but really cool of, gear. We have lots of content. <laughs> we could make the gear into content if you wanted to. Dr. No, Newell is no. tying his shoe. Yeah. Oh my Were you? Oh no, he had a cable wrapped around his foot. Never mind. Sorry. <laughs> Let's look at Dr. Normal's shoe. <laughs> Well, we could talk about shoes. You've we got could. some nice ones on. I have my shoes. You have your like gladiator style sandals, yeah. and you have really cute art socks. Yeah. We're in good shape yeah. here. We're running the gamut. Yeah. I thought about wearing boots, but yeah, they didn't work so well on the bike. No. So. No. It doesn't work at all. No boots today for me. Wow. So you guys from like nothing are building up this whole huge conference. In like three weeks. <laughs> you're you're scaring us. <laughs> drink drink your mojito. Okay. 
No, I mean, what one thing that's been really cool is the I, so I've been um, you know doing open source stuff for a mm-hmm. while, and I'm p- pretty big part of a pretty big part of my open source work um, is uh, Postgres, mm-hmm. and so. Um, What's been really neat for me is I've been meeting a lot of other people who are part of other open source database projects, Mm -hmm. and they've been so supportive and helpful and cool, you know, in this this whole thing, like getting getting uh, us in touch with other people in in other uh, projects and other businesses, stuff like that. And so anyway, well, it really seems like the open source, it it extends to the community and to what you're doing in public and in real life, not just in the software. And... Right. Yeah. Which yeah. I think it's kind of the point of the conference, right? That, I mean, because open source is so much about community, it makes sense for a community run conference mm-hmm. to be tackling this, you know, um, it, it, we don't want to be detached from the nature of what we're doing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and I, one, one thing that I was, somebody asked me, um, a while back, like why I was contributing to Postgres and, uh, and the best answer that I, I could come up with was so that I had, like, really sweet places to crash, like, anywhere in the world. Nice. <laughs> good planning. <laughs> really good planning. And, and it's like yeah, and it, couch surfing plus. Right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> plus, like, people who are really into open source and databases. So I, like, made friends with somebody who lives in Morocco, which mm-hmm. I was like, yes, that's so awesome. Yeah. And, uh, you know, lots of places in uh, East Asia, you know, so, so I'm, I'm set. I'm set for the next few years for my traveling. So uh, I need to think about that. So what about the chickens? So here, so here's <laughs> no, my. No, no, actually, I have another. I have another O's Bridge related question. Oh, and then we can get into Selena's and then right. we can talk about <laughs> chickens. No, because I have a, a important question. You have an important chicken related. Well, okay. Hold the chicken thought for just a moment. I'll hold okay. the, my chicken. <laughs> yeah, for hold a your moment. chicken. How <laughs> many volunteers do you have? Roughly. That's for the chat room, by the way. Um, roughly, Don't choke your chicken. Just th- hold it. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry I put the open source bridge. I think that's going to die. I, I mean, I don't know. I, I we, mean, it, we're in the, the few dozen yeah, I, range I would for people who have worked say, on different things. But. Yeah, I would say at least probably like 35 or 40 people have directly contributed. Mm-hmm. Um, and then if you start talking about people who do stuff like retweet, you know, tell their friends... Um, who are doing kind of behind the scenes stuff of like connecting us yeah. with with other people, but not necessarily being here in Portland and coming to meetings or yeah. you know emailing us all the time. I mean, we're we're definitely probably up to a hundred at this point as far as just like people who have you know I send an email and I'm like, hey, can you can you help us out with something? And they're like, sure, you know, and they pass on information or connect us with somebody we need to talk to. So it's a really supportive, cool group Very of people. Cool. Mm-hmm. How many people do you think you need? on hand volunteers that's sort of a, <clears throat> a question for christy kaler who's doing the volunteer yeah really. but um christy sorry yeah i think the last time we counted i mean there there uh, so so if people are doing you know like approximately like maybe eight hours mm-hmm. a piece which i don't think that everybody's going to be able to make that type of commitment well, um, that's one that's one conference day though right yeah yeah um and you know you could people might um do some of that volunteering ahead of time too but if you, you think about that, I'm I'm guessing that we're we're gonna need probably around like 30, 30 people, thirty thirty. Pretty dedicated volunteers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, if if, so if somebody those... just asked in the chat room how they go about volunteering, um, show up to that meeting Wednesday yeah. seven p.m. at Web Trends. Mm-hmm. There's a volunteer orientation, yeah. and if you can't make that, there's a post that just went up on our blog today that has the info for how to uh, get a hold of Christy to tell her that you want to take a shift. So just check out opensourcebridge.org. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. Now Excellent. about the chickens. All right, now you can ask about the chickens. <laughs> Wait a minute, I gotta like hook myself up here. Oh. <laughs> Do you have your lower third on? Uh-oh. Yeah, yeah, I'm working on Look, it. And the camera's pointing at you right now? <laughs> at your lower third? Is the camera pointing at you? Am I off camera? So you gotta see if I happen to moderate the chat room I just room need to again. know if I'm off camera. I think you're off camera. Is she off camera? No. Yeah. No. no. Oh. <laughs> You're never, you're never off camera. I need to be off camera oh. momentarily. It's important. Why? Because I have to get something. Get it later. No, I need it now. Okay. Am I um, off camera yet? Are you what, away are you from me, camera? Are you running to get your diaphragm or something? 
That okay. would imply that I'm going to have sex on the show. Exactly. It's not happening. Okay. I don't think it's sex. That was for the chat room, Last I checked. I mean, I mean it is called Strange of Life. I mean, I could see why someone would Yeah, I was actually going to ask you. I was asking you where you came up with that name. Because I've never asked you. And you're like, uh-oh. Moderate We're not sure. You're not sure. You know, a friend of mine asked me today because I was like, he was like, so, you know, what is this show? There may be some branding happening. I think it, I like, the story that I like to stick to is that that uh, people often think that the relationship between Dr. Normal and I is weird. I was going to ask him. Because oh, in his, his day life, he looks very conservative and very normal, and I run around in tank tops and have tattoos and yeah. wear things with grommets. And so it's just mm-hmm. odd that the two yeah. of you are Back together. to the chickens? Yeah. So now you ask her about chickens. Now are we ready? But put okay. the camera on yourself. Yeah, okay. What's the chicken question? Talk. Chickens. The chicken question, Selena, is this. Mm-hmm. So, no, seriously. Uh, seriously, hashtag. Seriously, folks. Um, <laughs> and oh, we'll yeah. show that. I need, I, need, I need a refill so, for this so, question, So here's I think. the thing. There's been a lot of build-up to Every it. person you talk chicken. to in <laughs> Portland is like, oh, yeah, I'm building a chicken coop right now. What is up Portland. with that? What, has <laughs> you, what have you done? <laughs> what? You're going to hold me sing- you're going to hold yeah. me responsible for you this. You know what? Oh, nice <laughs> thing and then If we want to get all open sourcey about it, it's that you showed people you can fail. It's okay, oh, right? Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, I failed very publicly. But the, you know, you more can than try once. chickens, you can fail. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, so you're not a bad um, person. What's what's funny just to take another tech digression for you a moment. You know what so I'm talking about. I know what you're talking about, but um but let me let me just digress for one moment. And I was at I was at a, a again a Postgres conference last week in Ottawa, and um, one of the talks that was given was by the guy who's kind of the architect of it, and um, and he was talking about what what being so public about your failures, you know, has, mm-hmm. has you know what his own failures has done for him, and and uh, <laughs> yeah, it, it was just so funny. They 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 he and this guy Bruce, Bruce Momjin gave gave a talk and. Um, and they were just talking about how they are so much more confident, you know, in their ability to write good code because so many times they've like posted something publicly that was awful mm-hmm. and everyone called them on it immediately, you know. So that's kind of how I feel about my chicken talk. Do you still have chickens? That, Do you have chickens oh, now? Oh, yeah, no, I don't have chickens right now. Um, it's like me in the mint. <laughs> you in the mint yeah no, no yeah chickens chickens may enter but they don't ever leave <laughs> yeah it's like the hotel feet. california yeah hotel chicken california chicken for chicken chickens <laughs> yeah no i i mean as far as like the the infatuation with chickens i mean they they are freaking cute they are cute That's i'm true. sorry like really? you you get You've a little chicken, chicken get in I your hand chicken. and you like pet Chicken's it good. it's pretty freaking so adorable really stupid they are yeah, pretty dumb. Exactly. But they're they're Thank like you. adorable in their that. idiocy. So so there's <laughs> there's a chicken um, at Pistols uh, Nursery, which is over kind of in the Mississippi area, and it's like it's a little like frisee chicken. Its feathers are like curly, and you pet it, and it feels like fur. Like it's so yeah. cute. And anyway, so it 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 burrows in their little feed thing and lays eggs in there anyway it's it's pretty cute so that is a cute chicken dr normal that you should check out you should you should visit that chicken you should yeah you should check it out but um from all the backyard chickens they're show chickens yeah they're show chickens there's there's actually kind of weirded me out but yeah they um had some when i volunteered at the zoo in high school which is a while ago now they're um every uh every summer actually they have this thing called the tour de coupe that uh (laughs) this this nonprofit called uh growing gardens puts on and uh Anyway, basically, like people just open up their backyards, and you can you can drive around uh, and look at people's chickens in their backyards, which I know is very exciting to everyone. But anyway, I, yeah, I, I had killed chickens when I was a kid. Chicken. Yeah, yes. did you here uh, in Oregon? Or? No, I was in California. In California, yeah. Do you live on a farm? Or? Uh, we lived on an acre and a half oh, in yeah. Fresno, which was largely a farming community. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, did you? I there pro- was there. A, did you have a lot of chickens, no. or just one? No, we or had. Two? No, we had. Uh, I think three hens and two roosters. Oh, it was my brother's 4 H project. Hens were uh, uh, busy. Hens. <laughs> <laughs> um, That's a lot of roosters. Yeah. For <laughs> well, it was a four H project for my brother, which meant that my mom and I took care of mm. the chickens. I loved our chickens so much, but then, uh, and our chickens 
they survived until the age where you have to do something with them. <laughs> and my mom was not willing to do what you have to do to the chickens. Uh, so we had to get rid of the chickens. Yeah. Because we were not willing to kill and eat the chickens that um, had been so stupid and brought us so much joy. <laughs> <laughs> this is sort of the point they of the 4-H really, project, right? Yeah, to, they were to get to that exactly. stage. Exactly, <laughs> and no, we couldn't. They were the beautiful, the black and white hens. Yeah, I had one of those. Yeah. And uh, oh, You oh. may have seen. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I saw the photographs. <laughs> one of them. We have one picture that's really fantastic where the chickens are standing. Two of them are standing like this, and so it looks like a two-headed chicken oh. with one head coming out of the butt and the other head over here. <laughs> yeah. the, that it's... was Hussy and Maud. Adorable. And now you guys know way too much about my childhood in Fresno. <laughs> At least the chicken part. Yeah, the chicken part. I ate eggs. Yeah. From the chickens. Yeah, no, the Best eggs are great. eggs ever. So our neighbors, um, our neighbors occasionally get chickens. I don't know where they get them from, but they just will bring one home. They've got one right now, a little white chicken, and it lays eggs. And they'll they'll bring the little eggs over. It's a it's a banty, so it's like mm. half the size of a standard chicken. So the Smaller eggs are eggs. super tiny. Tiny little eggs. But... They still taste good. We need a lot of eggs to make Don't that. Don't they? Uh, yeah. Uh, so whatever you feed a chicken is pretty much how the eggs come out in taste. Do you mean is they that uh, t- that maybe well, uh, something yeah. garlic, garlic and onions? I knew yeah. somebody in college um, who had they had like the chickens running around the yard and they had wild garlic growing mm. and the chickens got the garlic and then the eggs taste, eggs taste like, like garlic. Yeah, yeah I, Which you know, what I was pretty is. indiscriminate about feeding my chickens, Being the one person in Portland honestly. who doesn't raise <laughs> chickens right now. <laughs> <laughs> just want to make oh, oh, clear. Verso does not raise chickens either. Oh, okay. Yeah. Rosie, do you have chickens? It's do like, they, it's do like, they like they a new pot belly pig, you know? Man takes all his time, right? Yeah, yeah. it's like the pot belly pig, except for it requires a lot more, um, a lot more accoutrement. Can someone hand to Rosie a microphone? I want yeah, what to repeat what he said. What did you just say, say to Rosie? Is he commenting on the I'll chat? tell you. <laughs> what did Rosie say? I'm happy to repeat it. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. What did Rosie say? Breaking news from Rosie. He's investigating getting chickens, does not have them currently, but would like to get some because they would make good mules for the mint. <laughs> Well then. Thank you. That is all. Like a goat. No, I really wanted to get a pygmy goat. I seriously, I did. Mm-hmm. I still do. Hey, I know how big your backyard is. You totally have room. I know. Yeah. I have room. If uh, you have room only... for a dog, you have room for. But the problem is, is that they eat everything, and that's true. Yeah, that would be an issue. And it's like it butt. is, and it isn't an issue. Be more so. personable than chickens. I'd like to think of chickens. Yeah, always. but yeah, no, but okay. So They're let me tell you how I got. Design. <laughs> chickens so this is probably also how i would manage to get a pygmy goat into my backyard <laughs> but uh so when we first were looking at the house that we bought we drove up or whatever checking it out there was a chicken running around in the front yard <laughs> and i was like this is a sign <laughs> clearly i need to have chickens and so after we'd been in the house for just like a couple months i drove out to shank's nursery it's like some other nursery now uh, out in hubbard and i got two little baby chickens and i brought them home without telling my husband <laughs> and, Dr. Uh, Norman will tell you a story about a cat <laughs> My mom ended up with cats uh, Through similar mechanisms yeah, I showed yeah. up with kittens <laughs> Like here so, so the chicken Yeah so then we had two chickens So I think if I were to get a pygmy goat That would be how it would go down I would drive out to some place Actually we have a <laughs> Maybe we have a cousin a I have a cousin a lot I should <laughs> Here you can you have, have this tech conference And, and a goat, and a goat. <laughs> Come on. Isn't this like the best birthday present ever? Seriously. Happy birthday to you. I got you a goat. <laughs> I think if I sang the song that maybe, yeah, maybe he would, yeah, no. Would no. That. no. That'd probably be like the worst birthday ever. Yeah. Hey, Dr. Normal, should I get you a pygmy goat? I'm sorry. I'm uh, moderating the chat room <laughs> while trying to switch the show. And uh, It's time for a mo- mojito. I can't even speak. Do you need a mojito? Yeah, I think I'm going to play some more drink music and drink uh, some I, more mojitos. I thought we weren't allowed to talk about the mojitos anymore. What? Oh, no. Because I, I have no, another mojito. Back. So do I. Yeah. Sort of on my foot. Yeah. I'm back at it, baby. <laughs> you know, I passed the picture over to your brother. You he may have emptied it. <laughs> oh, well. That's all right. There's a little bit left. No, there, there is. You want a little bit more? Uh, yeah? So I can tell you about um, just one of the one of the like nerdy talks that i was really sad that we didn't accept <laughs> it was the geek 
choir. Oh, Ooh. yeah. <laughs> I think it might show up at the unconference, though. That it's really would be... good, but there's nothing that but grass awesome. clippings. <laughs> you know, at this point. Just eat it. <laughs> Try it. Just eat it. That's yes, like, man. I'm sure that there's like, what what's good in spinach? Like vitamin something? Oh, I'm sure it's healthy. Yeah. Iron. Chlorophyll. Hey, Dr. Normal, there's a little there bit of uh, grass clipping liquid here if you want it. I don't go for drinks for health. You know. <laughs> Do you want this, Dr. Normal? No, I'm good. It's good. Yeah, Geek Choir. It's the special okay. chicken mule mint. <laughs> yeah. There were some really interesting... I mean, we were encouraging people to be creative about the format. Yeah. I was glad when we saw that. So, yeah, like I the was, drinking. I was mint. excited. So, and yoga. Mm-hmm. Yoga. Yoga. Who doesn't like yoga? Open Dr. source. Dr. Yoga. I think so it's Dr. Open Dr. Normal source. doesn't like anything. So it's not necessarily code. Right? Yes. Right. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there, there's a, uh, there's a lot of people who are talking about. I mean, rule well, right now the big thing is open. Yes, chickens. Open <laughs> oh, chickens. <God. laughs> is open there? There's not so actually about dead chickens. He's just but... a little obsessed for somebody who doesn't want Every chickens. Every single person I talk to, you go to Beer and Blog, it's like, oh yeah, I'm working on my chicken coop. It's like, what the? <laughs> who gave you the qualification to? Is there a recession, really, No, no. Right? But seriously, yeah, do you really exactly. think that you need to be qualified to own chickens? To own no. the dumbest animal ever? Yeah, well, yeah. I don't know. think so. I according don't think to you your need to be ignite talk, no. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, really, that was that was a cautionary tale. I mean, people not encouragement didn't really. Yeah, I still had people. I think people were encouraged. <laughs> you know, I think yes, they were, they despite were. my best intentions. Like, I I had someone uh, someone come up to me after the, I gave that presentation in Seattle, and uh, it was great. Is she like drug her boyfriend up, and he was looking kind of like chagrined or whatever, and he was like, he always tells me just to leave the door open. <laughs> And now I have proof that that is so wrong. Thank you. <laughs> I'm just standing there. I was like, great. Now I'm wondering what the chicken laws are in the, in, inside the city limits of Seattle. Because in Portland, it's two female chickens inside the city limits. Three. Or three. 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 Uh, Seattle's restrictor when I lived there. I'm not sure if it's changed since then. Yep. I mean, generally, the way that it works is that um, as long as your neighbors don't complain about it, you can probably have more yeah. chickens and and in portland they only charge like five or ten dollars or something like that for each additional chicken mm-hmm. and so you get like a special chicken permit which is <laughs> really great um <laughs> but permit. but uh yeah there are certain Probably cities that have banned Randy them Leonard chicken mm-hmm. yeah and so there's like a uh <laughs> Randy permit for everything <laughs> Hey, Randy, yeah, I wonder the water the water bureau the are they uh, in charge of that? Well, you know what's funny is uh, so my husband and I were the most visible chicken owners in the neighborhood mm-hmm. when we got our chickens because you know of course we needed to tell it like Dr. Normal has noted people like to talk all the time about, about their the chickens. chickens. <laughs> yeah, so everybody in the neighborhood saw that we had them and knew that you know we we had a couple. But our neighbors to the left and to the right also had chickens, um, but they didn't have. I don't know. They didn't take. I'm just gonna say they didn't take very good care of their chickens. So Let's their hope chickens. Your neighbors don't you know, listen to us. <laughs> we, we were at Montage the uh-huh. other night, and we had gator, and gator tastes like chicken. So I'm oh, thinking raising like some gators. Yeah. yeah. I'm thinking. Yeah, those, those are. Great. I hear they're great with children. Actually, I'm thinking we yeah. could we could st- uh, keep one in the bathtub. Yeah, that's hey, if typically. Don Johnson could have a pet gator on Miami Vice. And oh, just think that you could reference. get you could get one of those white no, suits. No, you could get oh yeah yeah, oh, yeah. yeah you um, could be so hot. You could get still shirt. You could have a gator and a white suit, cloth. and you would be oh, so. And sad. then when the gator got old and died, we could make a handbag out of it and eat it <laughs> or shoes, or shoes. <laughs> and a handbag depending on how big the gator got. That's right. You would want a pretty big one. Tastes like chicken. Yeah. Is there any food exotics food that doesn't taste like chicken? I mean, do you think Hannibal Lecter is like serving dinner and going? No, people hey, taste, taste like, like chicken, chicken for sure. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think they taste, like, taste like pork. And Selena should yeah. know. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I would assume that we'd taste like pork though, Fast because up, pork is hours. like you know. Pork is the other yeah. that white people meat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, because like the whole like genetic similarity, the DNA similarity between humans and pigs. You know, I watched a movie that where people were cannibals or whatever. It was like some like in Peru, you know, like you crash the plane and then they uh-huh. ate people. Yeah. yeah, oh, um, yeah. And, and I was really disappointed in that because really, I mean, they there's Soccer no way team. they could have like told like what it even tasted like because they were it was frozen. Oh, so they were just eating frozen 
I know. Yeah. Like, I mean, if you're going to eat a human being, you would hope that they would at the least have a gun. Yeah. yeah. I mean, hello. So they're in the snow. <laughs> like, didn't anybody have sterno? Anybody Come on. Wasn't somebody carrying a James Beard cookbook in there. Look, if I can carry, <laughs> if I can carry a Leatherman in my itty bitty tiny little purse, then someone else can carry a portable grill in their briefcase. I know they went into a lot of detail on how. Uh, anyway. Have you read the book? I haven't read the book. I've it's only seen the movie. Yeah, it's it is live. I believe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I won't. I will yeah. not read or watch that because yeah. it's really interesting it, because you know. they talk about like oh. how do you get to that point where you're going? Okay, well. I guess we just have to... I mean, it was people who had been killed or died from their injuries in the crash. So it wasn't like they were, you know, taking numbers. <laughs> it wasn't the lottery. <laughs> yeah. No. And so, now you I will mean, eat dinner. Okay. Everyone's very... very uh, in the book, they talk a lot about how traumatized they are. You know, they've been in this crash. They've lost good friends. I know we're all starving to death. You know? And, yeah. You know and that? now we're going to eat some people. Joe. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I didn't mean Jat Joe. Uh, <laughs> you just took a name out of the air. And well, like, Joe was the first one with. that came to mind. <laughs> if I were crashed in Peru, it. I would eat Joe. <laughs> I think they had a reunion like five Poor years Joe. ago. And they yeah, actually got Rick, to play the song right off that they were the on their way to do. <laughs> nice. Yeah, he's yeah. Nice. How, how's cannibalism going in the... Yeah, how's that going over in the chat room? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we could move on to yeah. Cannibal the Musical. <laughs> Yeah, Actually, there. there's a great movie. Um, it's not about cannibalism. Uh-oh. Uh, <laughs> no, it's, it's one of my... <laughs> yeah, but it's about organs. Um, uh, <laughs> Is this Repo the Genetic Opera? Yes! They have it They have it in the ho- They have it in Hollywood video now, which I was so excited about. I was, like, looking around, you know, I'm browsing, you know, like, for some... So, like, oh, God, Scott picked doubt. You go to the video store? <gasps> well, I mean, come on. Sometimes I need to take a walk. Oh, see, I walk other places. I just, I, I walk to my computer and I go to Netflix. <laughs> yeah, we have Netflix too. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes I like going and browsing though. So anyway, I was I browsing. Oh, so anyway, you're browsing. I was Kenny's browsing and Repo. <laughs> Cammy walks everywhere. Cammy walks a lot. <laughs> just not to the video store. Also in the third person. Cammy speaks of herself in the third person. Person. She Cammie, walks in the third person. Cammy walks in the third person. <laughs> Cammy talks in the third person. Cammy drinks in the third person. Watch. Cammy is going to have a drink. <laughs> Do I need to? Uh... Wow. <laughs> Do we need mm. some special music for that? Cammy makes delicious music mojitos. Mm-hmm. Cammy didn't like mojitos until oh forty <laughs> minutes ago. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Wow, we've been doing after hours for forty minutes. What the hell have we been talking about? No, I don't know. Chickens and movie does and cannibalism and cannibalism no. and walking to the video store, which is what Chickens, you were talking about. Chickens, mojitos, and cannibalism. Oh my! <laughs> so, uh, so musicals that involve mutilating bodies is Sweeney Todd. Or Sweeney Todd. Repo? Sweeney Todd. Yeah, Sweeney Todd, yeah or Repo. Yeah. But Repo has Paris Hilton, which I'm sorry, Sweeney Todd, no Paris. That's true. Yeah. Which could but be on the other hand, Sweeney mind. Todd, no Paris. Yeah. <laughs> and the new one, Paris loses her face. I mean, it's but Sweeney Todd, it's pretty special. <laughs> no Paris. <laughs> and right. me, you have you you have me there. I okay, do. you yeah. do. Although you have me at the Paris Hilton loses her face. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. What? It is pretty awesome. I don't know. You I've never seen, seen it. Oh, I have it. You can borrow it. <laughs> it's awesome. I also have the soundtrack. Is that liking it a little too much? Yeah. Okay. That's okay. We have a lot of movies because we like movies too much, so I understand. Yeah. But very rarely do we buy soundtracks. We don't have any time Mm. to watch them anymore. No, we don't. We're too busy. (gasps) No. Too busy. Mm -hmm. I understand the busyness. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, the whole podcasting thing. You would think it would only take up 90 minutes of your time on a Friday night. That's not the case. (laughs) Turns out it keeps expanding. Yeah. You get really busy. Yeah. So, so that's the thing. We're at Web Visions last week, mm-hmm. and Mark Fraunfelder sits down and starts talking about chickens. Chickens. <laughs> and I'm about ready to bash my head into the tricast. I get. I looked over at him, and you brought it up again. I that's know. what I love. Like, <laughs> he's like glutton for punishment. Like compe- you're just compelled. Yeah. He's a nice guy, but, but chickens. The chickens. We had other people on the show last week also that raised chickens. I'm not naming any yes. names. No, I know. I know. But you know who I'm talking about. I know exactly who you're talking about because he's been tweeting about it. Chickens. Like Alex. <laughs> you and your chickens. Not saying any names. 
think the silicon florist needs a uh, chicken, chicken uh... barn raising. <laughs> yeah, if you need to, if you need, we'll come over and help you. Hey, chicken this is coop. this is a good micro startup idea, right? With the VCs, we could get uh, the silicon chickens. forest. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We chicken could sell coops. eggs at farmers market. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. we well, do you don't want to sell. I think I'm on to something there. You probably just need to sell the service of creating the coops, to be honest. Right. Yeah. And go. then you need to have a roving band of raccoons. Yeah, exactly. And eat the chickens. <laughs> to, uh, yeah, increase the replacement and, rate for your chicken. Yes, yeah, exactly. What happened to your chicken? <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I just heard through the grapevine. I just, yeah, I thought the that great maybe story that is, you know, the the people in the West Hills, yeah, who drive the German cars, <laughs> right? Who Says always the man put with the the, helmet the cap. is it the What's his koi? Point? The, the oh, really the nice, ponds? yeah, the koi ponds. Mm -hmm. And, oh, look, all our koi are gone this morning. What happened, right? And uh, you've got a lot of Didn't you have raccoons. a version of that, too? Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, so remember how I was telling you that we have the special lemonade, you know, for our yard sales? <laughs> the koi is, do the yeah. koi swim in the No, no. No, no, no cannibal, no cannibal lemonade. But, the uh, Guyana <laughs> lemonade. So in our pot, we we actually so uh, I got married in my backyard, mm -hmm. and uh, my like husband. Yeah. A lot of no, like that lot I really people. meant that. Yeah, a lot of people get people, married in their people backyard. Do that. So uh, so we got married in the backyard, and uh, before we got married, my husband constructed a thirteen foot diameter pond in the backyard. It's very large. Um, it's three feet deep in mm -hmm. the middle to discourage raccoons from you know eating the fish that are there. And basically, what we do is we just dump. Uh, feeder fish in, you know, like the 10 cent goldfish that uh -huh. you get at the, the, aquarium, the aquarium store. So anyway, so we dump those fish in there. So one day we're having a yard sale. We're drinking some of that delicious spiked lemonade and uh, people are coming around. They're like, oh, your pond's so awesome. It's so beautiful, blah, blah, blah. And, uh, and we're like, yeah, it's great. And you know what has never happened to us? People <laughs> coming to our yard sale. We have never had a heron come and eat all of our fish. That's just never happened to us. And you know what? I think it's because our backyard is charmed. So the next morning, I hear one of my chickens, this is before they all were killed, freaking out, just like squawking, Rah! you know, just totally scared out of her mind. And I, and I go outside and I see her, she's hiding under the coop. The other chicken who's more stupid was just kind of like wandering <laughs> around, you know, like oh kind of dazed, confused, you know, not sure what to do. And, uh, and then I hear this like, this like huge like feather sound or whatever and i look up and there is a giant blue heron up on my neighbor's roof and i go and i look in the pond no fish <laughs> freaking heron <laughs> next day yeah you should never brag yeah mm -hmm. no you shouldn't let that be a lesson to you boys people, and girls people mm -hmm. in the chat room yeah, it's the uh, the Harrods. Don't drink exactly. and brag. <laughs> <laughs> Especially if it involves backyard wildlife. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Especially yes. if it involves nature. Fish, heron, or chicken. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> no, sorry, I'm having... That was like really. That was like a really profound. I know. Oh my god! Yeah, okay. you need to share. What's... Someday I'll. Ha okay. Oh, I do have a microphone. Okay. So <laughs> what happened was. Imagine um, that. Amazing. Well, you never know. <laughs> imagine. Usually, imagine you know, you usually the, the peanut gallery Dr. is not allowed. Eight arms back so, here. It's yeah, like, oh, you know. I have a microphone. Great. Well, yeah. Usually it's off. Share so. <laughs> By so design. The, exactly. Because <laughs> unlike the chat room, it's easy to turn off the peanut gallery in here. Exactly. So. Uh, <laughs> This evening. Bitter much? <laughs> oh, not bitter at all. <laughs> not at all. Uh, this evening, against presumably his better judgment, or at least now it's against his better judgment, <laughs> uh, Raven Zachary, your friend of mine, uh -huh. <laughs> sashayed on down to Whiffy's. <laughs> Hi, Raven. He sashayed? Really? Well, I don't know that he sashayed in my mind. I like to think oh, okay. of it that yeah, way. Yeah. Yeah, think sure. for a moment that Raven sashayed. Just pretend in he, your mind. See I'm how nice that is? Visualizing man. that? Yeah, he's yeah. an elegant man. I can see him sashaying. Yeah. Okay. Oh, jeez. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like a. And upon his. Type uh, upon, arriving, upon arriving at Whiffy's. I imagine he sashays he ate. with a lot of arms. I know. That's what I'm saying. Yes. Like the, yeah. yeah. There's a lot he's of arms in there. Yeah, there's a lot of stop motion. Stop motion photography occurring. Okay. Yeah, okay. He ate. We're there. We're with you. Yes. Okay. Upon arriving at Whiffy's, the not one, pot pie? not two, not three, not four, not five, but six, count them six, pies in an hour. Why? He ate? Eight. He Consumed. ate. 
Yes. Consumed I thought he was, an, I thought he was like on no sugar. He's like I said, against no his better judgment, because he's <laughs> saying now, like, he says, if you do it, you will be in agony for at least four hours. And I still feel super bad. <laughs> Ooh, that doesn't sound were good. They, were they all well, sweet pies or were like, did he have like three savory pies? I heard barbecues. Pies? Yeah, there was some kind and of barbecue. Like, barbecue, oh, beef brisket, yeah, and they had a oh, salmon. They had a tofu. I saw a tofu yeah, one. Yeah, and so maybe vegan he, chicken. Maybe he had like three savory pies and then three dessert that's, pies. That's the problem he, with like dieting in public or like going on some kind of like sugar. Then everyone catches you. Well, yeah, then everyone's you know like, why everyone is sugar. <laughs> but see, when you Selena, here's the thing. This may be why everybody caught him. <laughs> Because OMG, vegan barbecue tofu pies at Whiffy's, best food ever. And then he took a picture of them. Then he said, then he replied to somebody, they are, come on down. Then he said, my name is Raven Zachary. My Twitter ID is at Raven Me. I ate six Whiffy pies in an hour. I am the pie champ. <laughs> <laughs> to which, pie, he to which, caught him pie handed. To which our pie favorite handed. lawn owner, A. Hockley, replied basically something like, um, I could do that. And so <laughs> the gauntlet was thrown, and as of ten minutes ago, has been accepted. Aaron is now going to try. Is he on Not his way to? Is he there? Is Not he there? Now. He now. Next Saturday. Next um, Saturday, we're gonna have a pie off. off. There's okay. gonna have to wow. be a pile. Wow. Now this Whiffy's thing, though. Have it's you pretty been? fascinating. Yeah, it's yeah. really good. And that was yeah. the oh my god. Was I didn't care at all when I thought it was and just dessert see. pies. But now that <laughs> I, I know that they have savory, savory pies, I'm like holy. Savory. What I'm fascinated about is that they got so lucky i mean they're great right like they've got great food but lots of great things don't have people suddenly going ah let's show up in mass and like 20 people and it's just taken off yeah Yeah, exactly it's totally taken off it's really interesting how it's um like this local twitter meme almost Mm -hmm. it's awesome you know I like everyone that. has to try the fried pie. I really like the um, the waffle carts too. Actually, have you ever have you ever been to the waffle cart um, mm-hmm. that's over? There's uh, it's called the Flavor Spot, which is a hilarious name. Mm-hmm. But uh, <laughs> they're so awesome. But they're open late. You know, they they open up. Uh, you know, maybe like seven, six or seven o'clock in the morning. But they've got one location that's over on Mississippi and Fremont. Mm-hmm. And so I'll go over there, and you can get these little waffles. That they, they stuff stuff into and they fold them like a taco. Mm. And then you just can eat them. Mm. <laughs> They're so good. I am I am partial to uh, up on, I think it's Lexington and 13th in, in Selwood. There's a little food cart village. And there's one called uh, Garden State. Oh, yeah. I've heard really good things about movie. Oh. I haven't tried it yet. What do they have? What is it? Uh, my favorite, personally, well, they've got uh, stuffed saffron, or stuffed... Um, Risotto balls. So it's like leftover risotto yeah. that's stuffed with something and oh, fried. Yummy. And then what was the thing I had the other day? The rosemary something. Mike, do you remember what it was? No. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> we had a, when uh, they had the Twicknick so, in Selwood Park, we stopped at Garden State. They also have an awesome, like, a pepper and sausage sandwich and a meatball sandwich. And uh, Verso, what is that chicken sandwich that you had there? Uh, I don't remember. It was chicken awesome. It would look beautiful. <laughs> it but, looked beautiful and it was I liked delicious. It. And mm. it was, oh, and then they have like they've got like a really really good um, a vegetarian sandwich too. I actually think it might be a you vegan know, sandwich. I'm just sitting here thinking. I'm hungry. What was Kim <laughs> Basinger? Il Jong. Kim Jong Il. Kim oh, Jong Il in North Korea eat while he's sending nukes our way. With his and With kimchi. His? Oh, okay. Probably kimchi, yeah. Yeah, next week I think I'm going to have to go get, get like, a pot pie. Because you want to destroy everything out of anger. Out of your eggs. I don't know. I'm just trying to just change the make subject. You, you should totally, if you haven't been to the 12th and Hawthorne food carts at night, mm-hmm. you need to go. Okay. Because it's a yeah. lot of fun. Well, that's where the whiffies are, right? Yeah. yeah. Whiffies, but, whiffies. Whiffies. <laughs> but no, uh, for Isn't like whiffy like a the year social, and a half before that? Social... That's something else again. Whiffy? Yeah. Whiffy. 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 Oh. whiffy. Woofy. I went to the Woofyoki. Woofy Woofy. Woofyoki. The Woofyoki tour. I know yeah, that's <laughs> great. So funny. Isn't she looking like for an the RV? Best right way to now? move. Yeah. No, I think they have. They have it. They they yeah. just they're they're going. Yeah. The Woofy. Go no, week? she told us on the when she came on yeah. last week. That show that we do for twelve hours yes. a day. She's gonna yeah. travel across the country so she can move up to Canada so that she can write her book. And Starting on her birthday. She's moving back to Montreal. Just happens to be three days before my birthday. Yeah. Because July birthdays are great. You guys should both yeah, get on can. there. Montreal, Montreal is an awesome city, by the way. It's it's yeah. pretty cool. Although she's not bringing the Wolfieoki through Portland, though. Although yeah. I have to tell not her, it's there. not a mountain. It's not a mountain in the middle of Montreal. No, it's a hill. 
to him. <laughs> for real. Yeah, don't let them fool you. Don't. Uh, There's don't no be mountain. Yeah. Anyway, don't be tricked. <laughs> Good to know. We're doing Don, Don Quixote or something. <laughs> I thought you were going to say Don P. <laughs> and I was like, "Woo, Don he's P. He's not P. in town right now. Is he? He's he's out for a little bit, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. in LA. Yeah, or sh- I thought it was Chicago. Chicago. Yeah, oh, it was Chicago. Yeah, he got a contract or for Boston. Some, he's, he's, okay. Yeah, it was somewhere. somewhere. I think it's East it's, Coast or Yeah, it's way it's way far, far away. Yeah. No, but I, so I had a friend who we've was lost, giving us a tour. We've lost our dump. Okay. I had a friend who was giving us a tour, though. He's from Montreal, and he kept referring to the hill mm-hmm. in town as, look at the mountain. And it was basically, I mean, it, you like know. Like Mount Tabor size? Yeah, it's like Mount Tabor size, yeah. but probably smaller. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> smaller. And he's well. like, this is what Montreal was named for, and we're just all kind of looking at it. like. Just tell him Portland's like the hill. planet Vulcan, right? You know, we have mm. volcanoes everywhere. But... No, it's like, you know, in Portland, Sorry, you're like, oh, look, the mount- the mountain's out today. Doesn't something. it look beautiful? And you're not talking about Mount Tabor. No. Or anything yep. smaller. No, you're not talking about Mount Tabor. Yeah. Anyway, <sighs> Montreal. It's a great place. It's with, nice. a, with a hill. So what else we got? <laughs> We got the foodie episode. We got the hungry. chicken. You always get hungry. I know. You, know? you start talking food on this show. and Woodfies you start is open until like three. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Which is why we didn't go there the other night. And Potato <laughs> Champion. But we could go next now. door. Mm. Huge. They have poutine. It's yeah, the, the chick food carts are awesome. Sandwich, well, the you know, you know my food? favorite food cart controversy is actually? Mm. Oh, the Bombay Chat House. Is there a soup no, cart? No, not that Is one. there a soup cart in the Hawthorne? food cart no no not currently okay no but my favorite controversy is uh maybe it is related i don't know it's the the um taste of india Mm -hmm. versus the real taste of india oh that's a different indian (laughs) (laughs) food damn yeah smackdown someone said this in the chat room and they're on delay so someone said it right as you were saying they're actually ahead of you nice yeah, the no, they know. The they know pressure. about the taste of India versus real taste of India. Yeah, yeah, it was formerly. Which one's better? Well, I go, I go to the real taste of India because it's real. Okay. Yeah, because it's it's the real one. Because they formerly were one, one cart, and oh. there was there was a There's you know drama. there was a difference of opinion, mm-hmm. and so the cart split. Yeah, so we have the taste and the real taste. So anyway, yeah, that's a downtown cart though. Yeah, that's yeah. like yeah. on fifth. Yeah. So my favorite Indian food cart's up by the library mm-hmm. on 12th. Uh, it was just India Chot House, which is really good. House. And then I guess the couple that ran it divorced, and now oh. there's a Bombay Chot House and an Indian Chot House. Oh, oh, and which one do you go to? I haven't been back. Oh! Drama. I've heard the Bombay Chot House. Drama. Bombay. What are your guys' favorite food carts? My favorite food cart moved. So now Garden State is my favorite food cart. It's a chick's sandwich by the way chickpea sandwich that's it they also yeah. have a chickpea uh fries and oh, the risotto balls and the risotto balls i did Those say that sounds good yeah zebus pitas it's one of my all-time loves yeah podcast. they're up by the <laughs> up by the galleria actually my favorite uh my favorite cart of all time is actually in eugene there's a falafel cart mm-hmm. that's just right mm, across the street falafel. from the computing center and oh, yeah seriously like i have not had better falafel I left a lot since I left Eugene. Which is all right. Let's go to the studio audience. Funny. I want to know what your favorite food carts are. Take the mic, Peter. <laughs> Peter right. has been told. <laughs> I guess I'll get involved in the conversation. You think, you think this is easy back here, don't you? Well, uh, I do. You know, I have diverse preferences. Yeah. I used to like uh, that chain of burrito carts. Chat room is going to have. I think uh, they're called Luna. Shelly's Garden. Oh no. Oh. Or the Fuego. We have Fuego. I think. Oh, Fuego, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, I used to like that. I would, because you could go pretty much anywhere if, if you walked about 10 blocks and get a burrito. And so, uh, you know, when you're kind of lost and hungry, they were excellent. <laughs> nice. And like we all are. Score for lost and hungry. <laughs> yeah. Both right. intellectually and, uh, okay. I'm going to be a, this sort of a bad person because I don't remember the name of it, but person. it's the Thai place. It's the Thai food cart just up from... Uh, like if you split the difference between PSU and Coin Tower, it's right there, and they have really awesome salad rolls. Uh. Oh yeah, I and I can't think of the about. name, but it's yeah. right on the edge of the parking lot there. Well, that's is good. it on and the map? Like, that I don't know. And it's, it's on the map. Um, you go look it up. They throw a bottle of water in, basically, with whatever meal you get, which is kind of nice. Oh yeah, mm. that is nice. Mm. Yeah, and they have pretty so you awesome get salad extra rolls. Hot. Exactly. 
Yeah. Where does the silicon florist uh, eat his food from the food carts? Nothing, really? Nothing. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. You're at more. You should ask OS Bridgebot. Right? Ask, is OS Bridgebot still in there? I ask, believe so. Ask OS yeah, Bridgebot about sure, tacos. Yeah, yeah. Okay. OS Bridgebot. Tacos. Where do you get the best tacos? Right. Tacos. <laughs> so we're waiting Which on reminds me OS of Gur. Uh, oh, let's let's pitch some projects. <laughs> okay. Uh, iHeartFoodCarts.com. Mm -hmm. Oh, so a, a new startup project. Mm -hmm. It's uh, looking for international content. We're trying to find people all over the world who are food cart enthusiasts. Mm -hmm. So say, if you're so watching awesome. this in like you're Iceland right now, me. <laughs> yeah. that is awesome. I would like you to, to tell us about your favorite food cart. Just go there, send us some emails, send us some photos. We're going to get some content up. I, and start. I heart food cart. I'd heart food cart food cart com. Com. That's okay. correct, yeah. And it's on Twitter, too, although I haven't updated the Twitter feed because I don't know what to say. Yet. Excellent. And then sec secondly, uh, if you know how to contact us, we do need more uh, field representatives to go out and actually photograph and write down information about some of these cart clusters in town. And eat the food. Because we have day yes, jobs. please eat. Which you may not believe. <laughs> So sometimes it's hard for us to get out and update the uh, Portland food carts map. Yes. Who has day jobs cool. anymore? And mapping seriously. over 100 food carts when they move, like you said, and they change names is yeah. sort of an interesting if project. If anyone knows where my sister's soup went, let me know. <laughs> seriously, I'm not joking about that. Yeah? <laughs> I really like that soup cart. So you don't know if they moved or they just closed up? Yeah, because or? I went up there one day to get soup. Mm-hmm. And it was gone. Mm. And I was really sad. And they made, like, you know, they had, like, three or four soups every day. And then uh, fresh baked Irish soda bread. Mm. Yeah. There's a, a new one downtown called Saver Soup House. It's supposed and to be really good. On Twitter. Yeah. 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 I've they also that. have a cart. They're not just on Twitter. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they also do, like, a grilled cheese sandwich of the day. Yeah. How much? So you can mix a match. Does it, and... does it cost very much to get, like, a number that people can text? You know, like I don't even know how that Shark any of that stuff works. To to do orders. Yeah, and well, I was I was thinking more of Call just Twitter like Twitter on your iPhone. Hashtag well, yeah, 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 yeah. But I was thinking, you know, like a lot of people they don't have iPhones. I know, shocking. Oddly but enough. um, yeah, but weird. it would be what cool. What are they eating at food carts? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you don't, are if you don't have an iPhone, you don't need to go to the food cart. Food no, cards. but but what would be cool is um for this service if you just had had some number that people could text and say like my food cart is here now oh. you know like and mm -hmm. and then and then not only would you get the information but you would get that cart's phone number you know right. in that text and that so phase be... one is handing out flyers about <laughs> <laughs> no really yeah, i mean yeah, i've yeah. been doing this lately handing out flyers just saying hey we have food cart resources in portland yeah and you can tell people that you exist like phase two might be the sms yeah Let's i say. yeah i just i've never actually looked into how much it costs to to set up a number I like think, that or anything. Yeah, but, I think there's like ad subsidized ones you can yeah, use. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be cool. She's talking techie though. I mean, dude! It's no fun. It's so dude, that is what? No, no, like look, dude, look, 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 look. It's food and tech. <laughs> yes. It, it, if we had music right now, I would be in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. Yeah, bring well, back, I, bring I, back I, the lounge yes, music. So I, do I need to? <laughs> well, actually, you know what? You're going to have to do the rollout music because it's kind of been an hour. Has it been an hour? Because the chat room is wow. going. Yeah, let's call it good. Yeah. Have we, have we, yeah. <laughs> we can always come back and talk about food carts more. <laughs> yeah. That's true. We'll have a That'll dedicated a food cart episode. after OS Bridge is over. Uh -huh. We'll have a dedicated food cart episode. No, That'd after cool. the OS Bridge nap is over. Right, yes, that's right. After the OS we Bridge have have nap, nap is over. I think that goes without saying. Yes. Maybe we'll like, you know, go live from a food cart. Oh, and I'll awesome. eat something. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like yeah, way too pie much. Off. So, I yeah. so mm -hmm. I I might be <gasps> pie off. Uh, Did they set a date for the pie I'm off yet? To Nigeria, like right <laughs> after. <laughs> Are you serious, Nigeria? Is that a nap? I'm yes. not kidding. Could you're not you go, napping? What are you? Could you go pick up some money for me? <laughs> in Nigeria? There's, a gentleman. There's this guy. I am not yeah. kidding. Yeah. No. So, so the Nigerian oh, government got a grant. <laughs> <laughs> they got a you're grant. To launder to money <laughs> from yeah. the UN. The to UN. Money. No. <laughs> No, they got a grant. It's actually, um, it's actually really cool. They're, they're is it for one of the top Gmail forty spam? farmers in Nigeria? <laughs> <laughs> he just needs a little help, Mike. Okay, just a little help, and then he'll be able to raise all that <laughs> money <laughs> and pay you back. It's only for a little while. Oh shit! Yeah, you will be well paid for your time. <laughs> so, anywho, 
anyhow, you may go to Nigeria to right after to teach teach database stuff and like um and and, and some, 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 some software yeah. stuff to teach no. them how to make databases for their spam. <laughs> <laughs> So no, they're actually they're, what they're trying to do. So they actually have a fairly large undocumented population, like in terms mm-hmm. of like location, mm-hmm. you know, like where where people are. And so they're trying to create a database for actually for voting purposes, and so that they can establish this national um, uh, like voting a voter registry. Yeah, of a huh? national voter registration that. Um, yeah, is is using open source software. It's freaking cool. That is cool. And and so anyway, but yeah, it's it was pretty funny when they in the announcements when they were asking for you know people to bid on the thing, didn't really mention Nigeria, <laughs> like in any of the documentation. We we started like reading through it, and it kind of like is like yeah, you know, it might be in Nigeria. And we're like reading through the the PDF or whatever of it, and so we're like talking to the guy. We're like, so is it in Nigeria? And he's like. <laughs> Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> There's no food carts in Nigeria. <laughs> oh, I bet there no. are though. with these pies. I bet there probably, probably are. are. But I, I yeah. have to say, I probably will. N- I since I only oh, be you there had for a, a couple weeks. Experience in Mexico too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you get an email from Selena while she's from in Nigeria, Nigeria. while I'm in Nigeria, <laughs> don't send her any money. Yeah. <laughs> Please don't. A close relative of not mine even for tacos. Has passed away. <laughs> And Especially you now for tacos. Tell her you'll buy her a taco when she gets <laughs> oh, home. Oh, man. Yeah. No, it's but rough. Please, sir, help me. I can't me. even imagine the vaccinations I'm going to need. But anyway, yeah. Ow, so be before exciting. we go. Yeah. Before we go. Yes. yes. Let's break a little news here on After Hours. <gasps> yes. News. Okay, break something. Okay. A friend told me to break a leg. Let's not break that. News. No. News. Okay. Okay. The Portland Pie Off Twitter account. Yes. yes. A little while ago said. Yes. You know, since it's just you and me. Uh huh. It's not confirmed or anything, but uh-huh. if one were to pick a date to save yeah. for something like the oh, I don't know, second annual pie off, uh huh, it might be it's August eighth. So Ooh, right. August August eighth. Are you gonna be back? Good day. I I should be back because yeah, I have to go to another conference after I go to Nigeria. <laughs> so <laughs> because it's part of your plan to never be home. Please, that's right. Again. Not now. Never be so home. So August eighth. What day of the week is that? I haven't the foggiest idea at this time. You guys have computers, and I happen to know that Apple's yeah, have a very Somebody's handy got, yeah, yeah. function. Pull up terminal, type yeah. in Cal. Well, look. I'm Eight, just letting you know that was the breaking news. I know that was. I know it's important at least to me. For you, I've, been I've been waiting. I've been waiting. I'm trying yeah. to decide if I would just want to go and I'm, eat as much pie as I can. I'm doing my best. Or if I want to try. Were any exactly meringue pies time? entered last? I think time? what we should do yes. is get. Yeah. I yeah. think we I mean, should my get a hot pretty too. impressive. You, we well, should get yeah, a hot to know, lay off the pie challenge pie and then cover it with Strange pie. Love Live. This is my favorite pie is lemon meringue pie. Well, I made a pretty bitchin' lemon meringue pie like a month ago. <sighs> She's yeah, feeling my heart good. with her <laughs> booze and her good. pies. It must have been <laughs> awesome. Yeah. It was pretty good. Okay, so August 8th, in in theory, yeah. if you were to save If one were to pick a date to save. It might be that date. It could be that date. I, 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 awesome. I, as Twitter, as, as the Twitter message said, it is not confirmed. As Twitter turns. Yes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it is not confirmed. So All my Twitter. The days the of my pie. So Next to so the tweets. Days of our pies. Hey, is anyone doing a spy? What is that? Thing? I don't want to talk no. about that. It's very no. irritating. And if you guys could please stop tweeting your little spy thing crap. I, I, I have enough tweets. Did you to hear read. that, Nate Angel? I hooked up. Seriously. Did you? I hooked up. Yeah. <laughs> See, now I have to go assassinate. Well, I, tr- yeah, I I'm tired of hearing oh, about people being people. assassinated. It irritates me. I know. And I am easily irritated, apparently. (laughs) (laughs) You can can filter that. Look, you you get off my lawn. Just off of my lawn, please. (laughs) Freaking assassination spot. It is. We've been on for more than an hour. (laughs) (sighs) I've had. had That's that's the magic of the mojito, actually. It extends the after hours. It really does. Into the early hours? Into the... (laughs) <laughs> Get off my lawn, bring me some pie. Yeah, more pie. More pie and less lawn. Savory pie. I actually know someone who also likes the savory pies. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. my thing. Savory pies and lemon yeah. ring pie. And, and she also makes a bitchin' uh, barbecue sauce. I'll take a strawberry pie. Strawberry pie is acceptable, but those are pretty really? much savory With pies. all of the seeds. Really? You I, like that. Dr. Norman wants me to stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> We're rolling the credits. Oh. Okay. Hey, everybody. Yeah, thank you fun. so much for joining us. It's been a lovely, lovely after hours. We'll have something for you next week. I'm not really sure what that is. Content? But join us the week after no, that great. when we talk with author 
and uh, Oregonian writer Sean Levy. That's right. Thank you, uh, Selena and Audrey. Yeah, thank thank you for having us. Have a great night, everybody. Good night, everybody. And a giant nap.